Good morning, Year 5, and welcome to Friday's English lesson. All this week, we've been working towards writing some instructions of how to program a robot that we've invented. And today, we're going to finish writing that set of instructions. So the first thing you need to do before you start today's writing is make sure you've looked carefully at your plan, which you wrote on Wednesday, and you've had a good look at the robot picture that you did on Tuesday, and you've read through your writing from yesterday so that you're prepared and you know what you're going to be moving on to today. So let's have a look. One of the things we can do to improve our writing is by using a wider range of punctuation and today we're going to focus on using brackets to add information. Brackets allow you to add extra subordinate clause or clarifying information to a sentence and the sentence where the brackets are being added should make grammatical sense whether the information is in the brackets in the brackets is in is there or not so for example george washington the first american president was born in 1732 so i've put brackets around the first american president because that's further information about george washington next one i went to the cinema to meet james my eldest brother so this time i've used brackets around my eldest brother that's extra information about james and so i've put it in brackets and finally, I love strawberries and raspberries, but I am not keen on blueberries. So I love strawberries and then I've added the extra information and raspberries and I've put that in brackets. Just one thing, it's important that before you use brackets, you know that the sentence makes sense before you add it in. So, for example, George Washington was born in 1732. That makes sense by itself. We're adding extra information to a sentence that already makes sense. So, George Washington, open brackets, the first American president, close brackets, was born in 1732. It's the same with this one. I went to the cinema to meet James, makes sense by itself, but I'm adding some extra detail about James. And this one, I love strawberries, but I'm not keen on blueberries. It makes sense by itself. The brackets just add in additional information. So that gives you some examples of how to use brackets. Now I'm just going to stop talking and let you watch this little video clip that explains it a bit further. The race started when the lights went green. This sentence describes, in a simple way, what happened at the desert race. But you might want to add more information. You can do this with the help of brackets, dashes, or commas. Let's go back to the sentence and add some extra information using brackets to do this. The race started when the lights went green. Now, let's add some extra information. The race, which was the final, started when the lights went green. Brackets have been used around the new information. One to start it and one to end it. They separate the information from the main part of the... You might have noticed on the video clip that they said you can use brackets, commas and dashes as parentheses to add further information. But today, we're just going to focus on using brackets. So, in this paragraph from yesterday, we did use brackets to add extra detail about where to find out more information regarding, regarding a battery malfunction. So, firstly, switch of the robot using the on-off switch, which is located where his nose should be. When turning it on, his eyes should change colour from red to green. If this does not occur, there may be a problem with the batteries. See later section on battery malfunction. 
You may start to hear a faint humming sound emerging from his call, although this is nothing to worry about. So you can see that my brackets go around the bit that says see later section on battery malfunction. It directs you where to go if you think there might be a problem with the batteries. So you can go further on in the manual to find out. Now, today, let's look at writing the next step for my tea to me instructions. That was the robot that I invented the other day to make my tea and bring it to me. Now, before I start, I need to look at my plan and I can see where I've ticked off how to switch on the robot and what happens when you switch it on. And this was my bit that I did, which was my list of equipment. Now, the next bit that I need to do is to talk about selecting uh, which drink I want and how to do that. And I can do that in two ways, OK, either on a panel on the side of his head or I can do it via an app remotely. So let's have a little look. Can you find the brackets as I read through? Next, you will need to robot as to what type of tea you require and where you would like it served. If you are near the tea to me, you can select your choice of tea from the menu on the back of his head. So I've used brackets to tell you where you can select your choice of tea. This will have a number next to your selected type of tea. You should press the number required on the panel, which is situated on the right hand side of his head. Alternatively, if you're too far away, you will need to use an app to program your selections. So I've started with my time conjunction. I've explained what you have to tell the robot. OK, and I've explained what the alternative ways of doing it are. And I've used brackets to add extra information about where the menu is from which you can choose your choice, choice of tea. So you'll need to be thinking as you write your instructions today where that information is going to go and whether you can use brackets to add more detail so your turn can you finish your instructions make sure you refer to your plan you must ensure you go through each step in order explaining clearly what to do at each stage and what will happen if you have a problem and it doesn't go to plan what should somebody do and keep checking all the time whether you're doing all the things that are in our checklist OK, we can tick off some of them. You've already done the list of what's needed yesterday and you did your brief introductory line and today you started your list of steps yesterday and today you're carrying on. You must do them in chronological order, in time order. And to help you do that, you can use your time conjunctions. Don't forget you made a list of them last Monday, so please refer back to those. It needs to be in present tense. You need to use imperative verbs. So again, go back to your list that you created on Monday and technical vocabulary, which we used on Tuesday. All right. Adverbs, which we've been using all the way through things like carefully, slowly, gently. And of course, above all today, remember to use brackets to add additional information. And we'll worry about this bit on the next page. So we're going to stop the video. You're going to get writing and then when you've done that, you can turn over to the next page and I'll talk to you about writing your concluding line to finish them off. So pause the video, get writing. OK, welcome back. Hopefully your instructions are complete now and we're going to wrap up our writing. Shouldn't take long, just a sentence. So, for example, now you have your brand new tea to me up and running. Sit back and relax while enjoying a delicious hot cup of tea. So it sums up, OK, that you've got a new machine, you're learning how to use it. Once you've got it going, you can enjoy a delicious hot cup of tea. Perfect for me. So finish your conclusions. And then when you've done that, finally check your instructions against the checklist and ensure your instructions really tell us step by step how to work your robot. We look forward to seeing them. I know Mrs. Roberts and Miss Bridges and Miss Dawes and Mrs. Morgan and myself are very excited to be reading your robot instructions. Take care. Happy writing. And I'll speak to you later. Bye.